Thanks, the logo. FM Classic Rock. All right, now with a special guest in the studio. Ordinarily, uh, Dirtman would be here. We'd be doing a date with Dirtman where we just kind of find out about the fun stuff going on this weekend. But Dirtman is in Mexico. So in keeping with kind of an international theme, since he's in Mexico, I thought we'd bring an Aussie into the studio. we got Mick in the studio. How you doing, Mick? Good, thanks, mate. Good. So uh, now, now here's the story. Mick's got himself a website called uh, MickOzzy.com, and uh, you're kind of on a roving North American tour in search of, well, two things. A and if I could use the... Uh, the Australian vernacular, uh, the Australian terminology, I think it would be uh, footy and hotties. Yeah, that's pretty close, mate. <laughs> footy and uh, crocodiles, actually, so <laughs> a little bit of crocodile hunting and going to the footy. Now, you've been here for uh, a short while, and uh, basically, you've, you've got this website in Australia. Tell us what's on the website. Yeah, basically, it's a description of uh, the three NFL games I did last year, had media passes to Seattle, Denver, and Minnesota. Then I did the uh, Pro Bowl in Hawaii, so there's only three television companies allowed on the sidelines for Pro Bowl, myself, ABC and ESPN, so <laughs> it was a pretty big achievement to be amongst the cheerleaders for the whole game. So then you're, you're beaming back a uh, video of uh, the game, the cheerleaders of course, those would be the hotties, and uh, it's all going on the website back in Australia. What, uh, what kind of... What kind of uh listenership or viewer do you have? Do you have a lot, get a lot of hits on the website? Yeah, I've just started marketing only a couple of weeks ago, so the website is really a backup to the video that I'm producing that uh, really confident on getting the video stores, if not, if not even to Hollywood. So on the, uh, on the website you cover uh, a little bit of everything. Australian rules football, obviously geared for, for the hometown crowd. You've got NFL, CFL, what else is on there? Well, yep, yeah, you're right. Aussie rules footy. Uh, CFL, of course, I sponsor the BC Lions. Um, NFL coming up. But really, I'm in Kelowna because uh, I'm covering the Okanagan Sun game tomorrow. So uh, starting this week, so Monday night, you can tune in to mickozzy.com to mix a uh, footy show, mix Monday night footy show, and be uh, about 15 minutes to half an hour, and this week will be fe featuring the Okanagan Sun. And uh, you're also going to be covering the uh, Canadian uh, college football game that will be going on Saturday afternoon as well at the Apple Bowl? Yeah, we'll have, we'll have probably five-minute highlights of that, probably 10 to 15-minute highlights of the Okanagan Sun, and maybe a bit of Aussie stuff mixed in. And a couple other crazy things I've been doing in Kelowna the last couple of weeks. What kind of uh, responses are you getting from uh, from people who are banging on the website uh, back home in Australia? Are they are they keen for North American football, or are they kind of look at as look at look at the pads on those girls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's because uh... Australian rules football is is a is a pretty good sport. It's it's like uh, rugby and and uh, and North American football combined, but no padding. Yeah, you're right. It's a uh... It's a great game. The stuff you see on TV is good, but when you go to the outback country areas, like that's where you see the real fights, the boys in the crowd having fun. And uh, yeah, I got a, I got a bit of a, bit of a dent in my forehead still from a head, head clash a few years ago. So we got uh, all kinds of football stuff on there, and then we got the babes as well. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, I've got friends with a few of the cheerleaders and uh, very nice girls and. Basically, the video and everything on the web, um, the girls come up well. They got a lot of them have got good uh, education, and especially in America, it's a big thing to be a cheerleader. So, yeah, some very nice uh, ladies. All right, well, we'll look for you uh, Saturday out at the Apple Bowl. You're going to be there well for most of the day. The, yep. uh, the college game starts at 1:30, and the uh, Okanagan Sun game starts at 7 o'clock. And uh, where to from there? Yeah, we'll do. Uh, I'll do a wrap up. Probably interview the best player of the game and. Uh, do a bit of a wrap up with a few of the older boys that I've got friends with here, a few of the Bob France and the Columnist and guys like that. So have a bit of a chat with them. And Monday night you'll be able to watch it on mickozzy.com. Mickozzy.com. Spell it for us because it's not M I C K, it's M Y K. Yeah, M Y K A U S S I E dot com. All one word. Mickozzy.com. Well, I, I, ho I hope you, you do it. You do good. I, well, I hope the Okanagan Sun win first off. They don't want to look like fools on the internet, but uh, it's almost a guaranteed win. Uh, good luck with the website. Yeah, and come on back anytime you want to cover our local footy. Excellent. Thanks, Ziggy. Look at this. Sorry. I'm picking up the footy. <laughs> the footy, yeah. <laughs> MickOzzy.com. Thanks, Mick. That's uh, today's unofficial installment of Date with Dirtman. It's 28 degrees. <laughs> with Power 104. Yeah, that go, right? Yeah, that was great. Could they understand me, you think? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs>